hello good viewers you are welcome in this tutorial we are going to be solving this quartic equation when you look at this we are having the degree of this equation is 4 so that is why it is quartic so we are going to be having four possible you know values roots so i'm going to be solving this in two ways okay so the first method first method so now the first method we are going to look at i can write this equation as having a to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 2 minus 20 equals 0 so now from here the next thing we are going to do here we can say that if we set 2 times 2 we're going to have what we're going to have 4 back so now let x to the power 2 equals what equals y so therefore anywhere we see this we're going to replace it by y we're going to have x squared let me write it back plus x squared minus 20 equals 0 so now from there I will replace this x squared by y. I have y squared plus y minus 20 equals 0. So now from there, you can see that this is quadratic equation in terms of y. So now what we are going to do now is that let's factorize this in this form. So you can see we have y here. I'm going to have y here. Now let's look for the possible factors of two possible factors of minus 20 so that when we multiply them together we're going to have minus 20 but when we add them together we're going to have this y at the middle so now that's going to be y plus 5 then y minus 4 so 5 will be here we are going to have minus 4 here that is when you multiply this 5 by minus 4 you're going to have minus 20 then plus 5 minus 4 we're going to have plus 1 right so from there you can see that this is zero form equation so we shows that we can have y plus 5 okay equals zero or we have y minus 4 equals zero so now from there we have y equals minus 5 and we have y equals 4 if we transpose them to the right hand side now from here so now don't forget that we should recall that y equals s squared since y equals s squared so it shows that we're going to replace this back because we have y let me take this one first when y equals 4 so i'm going to be having 4 equals s squared so which implies that s squared is equals what equals 4 so now from here what are we going to do i can actually take the square root of both sides okay if i take the square root of both sides this will be plus or minus then i have this cancelling this i have x to be equals plus or minus 2 so where i have x1 to be 2 and i have x2 to be minus 2 right so now we are going to go for the other exam for the other value of y which is y equals minus 5 so now from here so we're going to have when y equals 5 there we're going to have y which is what which is minus 5 and we have it to be s squared will be equals what will be equals minus 5 so now for up here what are we going to do we are going to take the square root of both sides we have a squared equals taking the square root of minus 5 so that's going to give us x equals plus or minus so we have this to be root 5 multiplied by root of what minus 1 we have x to be plus or minus root 5 then 
this root of minus 1 is i on a complex plane so we have x to be equals plus or minus let me take this i to the back then i have root what root 5 so therefore i have what i have x3 to be i root 5 and x4 to be minus i root 5 so these are the what these are the four possible solutions for this what for this equation right so therefore that is the first method i said we are going to use so now let's try to use the second method then you now choose which one you prefer okay and which one you go with so now now going for the second method method two okay you know that we have the equation to be x to the power four plus x to the power two minus twenty equals zero so now from here what we are going to do here i can write this equation as x to the power of four okay plus okay let me write the question first minus two x to the power two minus twenty equals zero so i can write this as x to the power of two to the power of two plus x to the power of two then this 20 i can write it as minus 16 minus 4 equals 0 you know that minus 16 minus 4 will actually give us 20 so now from there we have x squared to the power of 2 now let me take this 16 here then i have x squared minus 4 equals 0 i get in as soon as from here so i can write this equation as x squared to the power of 2 minus this 16 is what is 4 to the power of 2 then plus x to the power of 2 and 4 is what same thing as 2 to the power of 2 where equals 0 so now from there using the difference of 2 square when you have a squared minus b squared this is going to give us a minus b then a plus b right so we are going to rewrite this one here as that x to the power of 2 and this minus 4 then x to the power of 2 plus 4 then plus we have x to the power of 2 minus okay i can turn this back okay to 4 sorry about that so now from here we can see that we have something equal s raised to the power of minus 2 x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 s raised to the power of 2 minus 1 is also here so therefore i'm going to factorize x to the power of 2 minus 4 out you know if i factorize this one out so now dividing this one by x raised to the power minus 4 we are going to be having x raised to power 4 inside x raised to power 2 plus 4 rather then this is going to be x raised to power 2 minus 4 divided by this this is going to be plus 1 then equals 0 so now from there we have x minus 4 then here is going to be x squared then plus 5 then equals 0 I get it in our so now from there you can see this is zero form equation we can have x squared minus 4 equals 0 or we have x squared plus 5 equals 0 so now from here we have x squared this can be minus 2 raised to the power 2 equals 0 so this is going to be x minus 2 equals 0 or x plus 2 equals 0 so from here we have x to be transposing this to this side 2 or we have minus 2 so we have x1 to be 2 x2 to be minus 2 so now coming down here we're going to have this one to be x to the power of 2 equals minus what minus 5 then here if you take the square root of both sides we're going to have this cancelling this we have x equals this is going to be splitted as root 5 multiplied by what root of minus 1 and root of minus 1 in a complex plane is i so we're going to have x to be i this is the i don't forget that we have plus or minus plus or minus i then root what root 5 so we are going to be having x3 to be i root 5 and x4 to be minus i root 5 okay so you can see that from the both you know method we use we are having the same what we are having the same solutions so therefore these are the possible solutions if you find this class very interesting kindly 
subscribe to our youtube channel hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content bye bye